friends and followers. Well, I've been trying to get data from Yahoo Finance into a MySQL database. I had done this a few years ago and had it working, but then as the Y Finance module was updated by its creator and Yahoo itself updated their internal algorithms, uh, everything changed and the thing broke. So I used to pull this data into MySQL database and try and search it. Anyway, what the purpose of this is, is to pull about 6,000 companies' information into a MySQL database. And this might be able to be put into a better database like Mongo or the uh, graph databases. So since I know SQL a little bit, I wanted to put this into an SQL database, which all I really know is MySQL. So anyway, the program starts off with Python and imports of Y Finance, which is how the data gets moved into uh, this program from grabbing it from Yahoo. So I don't really know how that works. I don't want to know how it works. I just looked at examples that the creator of the program put up to make it go. And he has an example down here, which is what I templated it from. So you can pretty much put a ticker into this program like Microsoft and do this info thing. And then uh, this statement works. And then here, I was going through a bunch of symbols I had in a spreadsheet to pull them all in. So that's the premise of how this works. And when you debug a program and you want to get things into a database, you have to make a huge insert statement. So with at least MySQL and SQL databases, the first thing you need to do is, is make a table. So I, I kind of automated creation of this table. So this function here, all it really does is makes the statement that creates the table. And then you basically set up everything. And this basically doesn't have to be in this order, but this is how I found it coming down from Yahoo, from the Y Finance module. So I can basically report on all these things from MySQL because they're all fields in the table. So what I did was made this table and then kept uh, running the program to grab data and throw it into these fields and then try and do an insert into the table. And after that happened, after a while, it finally started working through all the companies that it could find from Yahoo. So that's how this goes. Um, I use PYMySQL to connect to the database and it's on localhost. I have a very secure password here <laughs> and it's called company data. So all I really do then is execute a statement or a SQL valid query. Query could be a statement. You could drop database. You could add database. You could do a query. You could do an insert. That's what this little function does. So here um, I want to actually then initialize the table in the database because each time I run this thing, I want to wipe out a table and put a new one in. I needed to do that because the fields were changing dynamically as I was, wasn't really sure what fields I needed, what I was doing. So anyway, I will always connect and then um, show the version of the database running of MySQL. I will get rid of the table and drop company data. And then I'll create it again. And, and I'll use this build, so I'll make that table with that function I just showed you with all those fields. And then we'll show the tables and show you what's there. So that all works. Okay, this is a one that matters. So I have this list of, of stock symbols from the internet and these stock symbols are all valid symbols that Yahoo could report on. So I open this file, which is a text file, but it's basically a JSON file. 
of all these companies. And now we go through and we read each stock symbol here. And I will grab that stock symbol and write that stuff into this table. And I just kind of go along and grab everything. I thought that I JSONify this stuff here. I probably don't use this function. Let's see which one I use. Read company to flat file, company data. Yeah, I tried to make this program um, cleaned up, but maybe I haven't cleaned it enough yet to show you how it works. So I'm scrubbing data here because sometimes I'll get data from Yahoo, which doesn't really fit into what I'm trying to do. I can't really have commas in the text because the commas basically mean something to an insert statement in MySQL. So I take all the comma, commas out first, take all the quotes out, and then when I'm done, uh, I will simply, if I have a string here, I will enclose the string in quotes. And that's about it. That cleans up the data. Just remove all the extraneous stuff. And for some reason, I got in, oh, the word infinity back. So I just changed that to a very high float number. OK, this, com this process here, let's see, process company info JSON. So yeah, here I'm actually then reading this JSON file. So we've made this JSON file from um, from a previous function, and now I want to read this. I can build this JSON file in the future by simply running the program that gathers the stuff from Yahoo, but because I had a lot of mistakes and I was trying to develop this program, I read this JSON file, and I will decode it from JSON to a dictionary. So here I'm going through that, and I have this concept of a template, meaning I wanted a normalized template that always matched the MySQL insert statement. I'm not sure this worked out so well, but the program does run. So here basically I'm loading one line from that text file, which is a, uh, a long JSON line with about 122 um, pairs in it. And then I go through um, each item here and I will make the template match what it found in this line. Now, the reason why this is done is I found that Yahoo has variable data that comes back and some of it doesn't even exist. So you may have a superset of a template or a superset of a table and many fields don't even have values. So I set those in this template to some default values. And so now we're going to try and build this um, this insert statement. So I'll do an insert. That's the first part of it. The uh, database is called company data, and the table is called company data. So here I'm simply building up the statement with a key. So the first part, you, you build all the columns you want to insert into. So you'll do all the columns first. And then you'll do the values. So I'll take a second pass through here and I'll grab all the values and I'll put those in the same position as the keys up here or the columns. And then I scrub the data as I showed you before to get some of the crud out of it. And uh, I will simply create the string with all this stuff. The last two characters I drop because they're like a comma. And then we simply um, make the insert statement valid by closing it and putting a semicolon, which makes it a valid statement. And that's it. I'll say I process that company. And here I had some debugging stuff when this thing would blow up. I would try and figure out what the um, part of the insert statement was wrong. So I print insert, insert statement out in, in columns and with a value. So anyway, that works pretty well. Here I was trying simply to go through the raw data that's in the uh, the JSON file here and figure out what the longest keys were. And that, that really didn't work too well. Um, but I did. It, it does work enough to figure out that that 121 was was as long as it got. I, I, it seems like somewhere longer. But anyway, and, and now I 
got a dictionary from here, and this is a typical long dictionary, and I tried to auto-create the table from here, and it did to a degree. So then I used that and and pasted the table up above to make the actual table as a uh, as a uh, a table create statement. And here is the template. I create the template the same way up, up there. So that's about it. And so here then, each time I run this thing, I will initialize the company table. I'll initialize a table in MySQL. And then I'll process this stuff. And then it's all done. So that's how that works. Um, if I run this thing, you'll see it go. It's simply pulling off that JSON file. And it runs pretty well. So there it's doing all the processing and there's some debugging stuff in there. But eventually it'll be done. This took me all day to get this working. I'm running this thing on a uh, Linux Ubuntu server running under VMware here at home. So that'll get done pretty quick. So it processed 6,900 companies, roughly. So now you might say, that's nice. What can you do with this data? OK. Well, here now I'm logged into the actual server running the database. And so you can basically bring up the database. And let's, let's make this thing a little larger. Okay, so yeah, now it's larger. Show databases. So I have just this one database on here. And so we can grab that and use it. Here's the table we made with the Python code. And we can look at the table. So I had this working years ago, but Looks like now I can use this stuff again. OK, so this basically copies all the data that I have in the Python program. And so we can report on all these fields and go that way. I don't think I got the stock symbol in here, though. I don't know. Anyway, that's what I did. So I think all this stuff is, is here now. So I can now report on this thing. I, I haven't done this in so long. It's been years. Um, select, how about we do this? Select symbol. I don't know. Let's, let's see if I can even still do this. Select industry symbol. Let me show what that is. From company data. Um, I think that'll just work. Let's see what it does. Empty set. So do I need a width in here or something? It's been so long since I've done this stuff. Nav price category. What can I do for category? Select Unless everything's empty. Or I have a table like that. I should just print something out, I would think. Unknown column category. Did I spell it wrong? Yeah, I did. So I can program all Python, but I'm not going to do this stuff. So nothing in there. I wonder if my uh, database is empty. Even though it said it put the stuff in there, maybe nothing's in here. Um, I don't know. Anyway, I guess I got some debugging to do. But uh, let's try select star from, what does this do? Will that do anything? <laughs> Could be. 
could be a dead database. I don't know. All right. Well, thanks for uh, following along here. I'm sorry this didn't turn out very interesting. Have a nice day.